Hey guys, welcome to RTIP61, and today we have an awesome RTIP for you. We're going to learn how to use ChatGPT plus the OpenStreetMaps Nominatum API to be able to get map, get and map latitude and longitude for any business type. This is a fantastic little uh, RTIP here uh, that you're gonna learn in five minutes, and you're gonna leave here not only with how to learn ChatGPT and how to use that for common solving common data science problems, but also how to uh, interface with the OSM Nominatum API, which is absolutely super powerful. And we're gonna, by the end of this, we're gonna show you a preview uh, that extends this lesson for a demonstration of a geospatial app that I built using the same type of information that you guys are learning here today. So pretty fantastic. Um, all right, to get started, guys, uh, we are in the R tips. Uh, the, we have now 61 R tips. We're in the 61st right here. Um, what you're going to want to do, if you haven't done so already, make sure you register for the weekly R tips. That gets you access to all of this fabulous code here. Um, and all you need to do is sign up and you will get access to all of this code. We're going to be working out a 61. I have it open up right here. I'm also going to open up the little outline that we have here today. Um, Next thing, uh, what we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be using ChatGPT and I'm gonna also show uh, this OSM data uh, library, which is what I'm gonna be focusing on today. So the prompt that I'm going to do, and you can imagine, you can imagine that ChatGPT prompts are uh, pretty important. So uh, what I'm saying here, uh, we're gonna use ChatGPT. I'm gonna just copy this. And what I'm saying is using the OSMR library, write R code to find the locations of all pharmacies in Pittsburgh and then use map view to visualize the pharmacies on a map. So I'm going, I'm asking it basically for all of the R code here. I'm gonna delete this. Now hit send it to chat GPT. Okay, and you can see here, it's going to uh, start writing. Okay, so this is the code that it has just written for me. And I'm just gonna click the copy the code button and I'm gonna put that right in here. Um, and this is amazing. So now we've got the code and we, and it's got all the comments in here and it tells us exactly what we're doing. So I'm going to uh, load in the OSM data library, the map view library, and uh, which are the two libraries that I specifies that I, that I wanted it to use. Um, next, what we're doing is we're getting the bounding box, which is going to be the location, basically the, the box, the four points that are going to specify uh, where Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania is located. Then we're going to run the query, and this is actually going to query this thing called nominatum. The, once we get that, we get an object here uh, that has the uh, the query, uh, and, and it hasn't grabbed any of the data yet. We next need to add the pharmacies and create a SF object. So we've got that now, and it's it's now pulled that object into uh, into into memory. And then now what we've got is we can visualize on a map uh, using map view, one of my favorite libraries for visualizing uh, data. And you can see here, it's got them all in here. We've got all the different, um, uh, the different pharmacies that are in the, in, in Pittsburgh PA. And the great part is, is that we can now utilize this and we can change this for any location in the U S and it'll grab the pharmacies. So the key here guys is if you want to use this for your business, um, what you can do is you can just swap out some of these keywords, like the locations of all, um, say you wanted all coffee shops in, um, say Tulsa, Oklahoma, you would just swap out pharmacies with coffee shops and it'll get you that data and you can pull it right into a, a map and you can visualize the map. Um, this is really cool. Uh, and I want to extend this, uh, and I want to show you just a quick preview of what's coming in my next learning lab. Uh, Okay, so coming up in my Learning Lab 83, we're gonna extend the same uh, code that you use, that you just uh, learned how to use um, to be able to do this type of analysis for any state. So if I put type in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and the amenity is a pharmacy, um, it'll automatically pull that information in. And uh, you can see I've got all of the, um, the, the different uh, pharmacies that are located in Tulsa, Oklahoma. I've added one additional feature where I can actually download the CSV of all of these businesses and it'll pull it right into a, a CSV. That's it. 
Um, we've got that coming. Uh, check out the link uh, below for a link to register for Learning Lab 83. Uh, if you want to learn more, and if you want to become a data scientist for your organization, uh, I do also have a 10 secrets to becoming a six-figure data scientist. Uh, that's a free master class uh, that I offer, and it'll show you the 10 skills that were most valuable to me becoming a data scientist. You can check out the link here um, and also in the video notes. So I will uh, see you next time. That's it for this art tip.